But you wanna put your name on your hands on it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on the makeup look that I'm wearing right here. I wanted to do a birthday glam makeup tutorial for my birthday. I'm going to be posting this video on Wednesday, so that means that my birthday will be tomorrow. Yeah, so this is the look I came up with, and I hope you guys like it. And let's jump it into this tutorial. And First, I'm going to moisturize my face with this e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. So now I'm just priming my eyes with any concealer and I'm just blending this in with any fluffy brush. I'm using my Morphe E23. I'm going to set that with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and this is in Transparent. And I'm using my Morphe M504. I'm using my Lorac Perfection Face Primer, and it's been a while since I've used this in a tutorial. I really like the way this feels. It's more thick, but it does a good job at hiding your pores and blurring everything. I'm taking this shade right here, and I'm going to be putting that into the crease. And I'm using my Morphe M330. I'm taking a scandalized eyeshadow stick, and this is in the color Blackmail. And I'm putting this all over my lid. And I'm taking my Morphe E13 and I'm just gonna begin to blend. I'm taking this glitter black in between the crease with any pencil brush. And I want to make a V in the outer, so I'm just going to begin to carve it out. Now I'm just taking my Morphe M330 and just blending light. I'm going to switch to my Morphe M433. Now I'm going to take that transition shade, and I don't want any harsh edges. So I'm going to make sure I blend all these colors together. I'm taking the shade right here with the same brush and I'm going to add it to the crease. And I'm just putting it on my eyelid just a little because I'm going to have colors on top of that. I just want everything to blend nicely. I'm taking the shade right here for the brow bone. And I'm using any pencil brush. I'm taking Urban Decay Lounge and I'm going to put this color on my entire lid. And I'm using this Wet n Wild brush. I'm taking Makeup Geek Pigments in Satellite, and I'm just going to put this onto the middle of the lid, and I'm spraying my brush with Smashbox Water Primer. And I'm just patting it with my finger now just to blend everything together. I'm going to create a wing with NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. I'm 
I'm gonna use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top eyelashes. I just wanna fix a little bit of my eyeliner and I'm using the Bomb Schwing Matte Liquid Liner. I'm gonna use Lorac Perfection Foundation in PR4 and I'm gonna pump this onto my hand. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge and pat this on my face. I'm using my Wet n Wild flat top brush to blend this in. I think this brush does a great job at not stealing the product. And it does create a really flawless finish on your face. To conceal my face, I'm using the same concealer I used as before. It's Maybelline Fit Me in Fair. So I'm doing the forehead, the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and the under eye area. And to blend this in, I am going to take that same brush. I think when I'm a little tan, this color is a little light for me, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to get the rest of the under eye with my Real Techniques sponge, and I'm going to spray this with Smashbox Water Primer. And this spot needs to be concealed, so I'm just going to put a little... I'm going to set my under eyes with RCMA No Color Powder. I'm taking my Morphe M438. And I'm also going to set my entire face with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And I don't always set my entire face, but this foundation, um, if I don't set my face, feels a little tacky. So I definitely want to do that because I don't really like that feeling. I'm going to take that eyeshadow stick I was using before, and I'm going to line my waterline. And I'm connecting slightly the outer. I'm going to take a pencil brush with no shadow on it right now just to start to smoke out the bottom. I'm going to take that same lounge eyeshadow. I'm going to take this on a Morphe M432. And I want to just put this in the center. For my bottom eyelashes, I'm going to use Benefit Roller Lash. I'm actually going to top it on the other mascara I used. Well. I just found. I'm gonna try to use this. So I'm taking um, Ulta Matte Bronzer in Warm and I'm using my Morphe M530. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my forehead with my Morphe E4. I like to do the forehead too because sometimes it's like you see a lot of color here and this is white. Now I'm taking Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks with this Wet n Wild Blush Brush. I'm going to take NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. What I like to do with this is I like to put a few dots on my cheekbones. And I'll take my damp beauty sponge and I'll just start to pat it. I'm going to 
bake the sides of my contour just a tiny bit. And I'm going to take my Sigma F77. Now I'm going to take Jeffree Star Skin Frost and Ice Cold. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fan Brush to put this on. You are coming through highlight. Like... I'm going to let this bake for about another minute. I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Tootsie. Now I'm going to take ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in Bianca. And I just want to put a little bit of Too Faced Melted Matte in... This is the Color Me So Pretty. And I want to put it in the center. And now I'm going to go ahead and dust this powder and blend it in. I'm going to use e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And this is the finished look to this birthday glam tutorial for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you really like this look because I really do like the way it came out. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!